What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. This is actually part two of our What's Old while we were away on vacation. We went to Salt Lake City, Utah. We were gone for about a week, and this is everything that has sold. We did our eBay sales in the video from yesterday, and today we're going to show you everything else that sold while we were gone. So I'm going to turn over to Kathy, and we're going to get picking. Hey friends, uh, I did want to thank a couple of people who bought us some coffees while we were gone. Alina bought us three coffee settings for the spreadsheet. Love it. Have you added the mileage yet? Do you want to take that? Yeah, um, okay. we have not. I was hoping to do a little bit of work on the spreadsheet while we were on vacation. I don't know why I was hoping that, but it just didn't work out, didn't have the time. Um, but no, we have not <laughs> released it out yet. We have I haven't really worked on it much. And the biggest issue is I just want I I need like a good four hours of just dedicated time to do everything I want to do. I don't think it'll be good for me to go in and try to do it in p bits and pieces there. I think it'll just take too much time to do it that way. So I have not had a good four hour stretch of time to do it yet, but I am hoping to do it very soon, especially since this month we're kind of changing up things, how we're listing and stuff. So I think I'll have a more time at once to do that. So hopefully um, April should be coming out April. <laughs> We kind of mentioned in the last video, so we've been doing the 15 a day kick for almost two months now, and while it's worked out, we have been behind on things like that. Adding, yeah. Adding all the stuff we want to do there. Just everything. Just doing thrifting yeah. videos, like everything that we want to do this year, we haven't really done. Yeah. Um, so we're going to try to basically plan out better to give him four hours, okay? Like. Mm -hmm. April, whatever, you're going to have four hours to do that. I'll go sourcing so you're here. Right. Kids are at school. We don't have to have distractions, things like that. So Yeah, and while getting 15 up yeah. a day is not wrong. No. It's good. It's consistent. Yeah. I, it, I mean, I want to keep it up, yeah. and I could keep it up. It's just like then we don't do the other right. stuff that we want to it do. Consistent, so. it, was, it was great for consistency, but yeah. for us, it's not great for the fluid yeah. fluidity is that a word i think it just like <laughs> depends on what your goals are i guess yeah. like our goals you know we do youtube too so like this is an income stream for right us. right so we want to do our best at it mm -hmm. um reselling is still our income too so yeah well it doesn't need to be our best i can still list as many items just split up right and right so we'll still make the same money yeah so yeah if reselling is your only income you might want to be more consistent you'll probably make more consistent money that way but yeah we just like to do things to like show and, <laughs> right you know, and and for us works. it's just it's not as fun being <laughs> like super consistent robotic yeah, you know I like, like robotic yeah that's what i yeah that's, if i want to do that i'll go get a real job right real job i mean <laughs> this is a real job but right work you know. for someone else yeah so we haven't added a mileage yet she also asked um, is there a website I can discover how to price my listing? So you could check sold comps on places like eBay or yeah. Poshmark. Um, eBay, you would just search up what you're listing and then click on the filters. Filter to it sold. to sold items, yeah. And it'll show you like the last 90 days worth. You know, you can sort highest to lowest. You can sort newest to oldest, like the ones that just sold and whatnot yeah. like that. So, and you can narrow it down by adding color, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, we also use that as a way to figure out sell through rate. Yeah. So if you compare the un the listed items versus the sold items, you could see, you know, if there's 10 listed, 10 sold, that's a hundred percent sell through rate. That gives you a pretty good idea that it's going to sell within the next 30 to 60 days, right? Yeah. Or 90 mm -hmm. days. I don't know. 90, I think eBay is 90. 90 so. days. So. Yeah, you can do that. Um, same with Posh. Posh doesn't like cut off at any time and it doesn't really tell you when it sold. Like you could click on the listing and it'll be like updated yeah. 29 days ago. So then you could know that sold 29 days ago. But yeah, I would recommend eBay first. But if you can't find it, I would just recommend throwing a price on it and gauging by how much interest it gets. Mm -hmm. If you're not getting likes or watchers or anything like that, probably lower the price. And if you are, you may have priced it right on or maybe even a little too low. So then yeah. you could always up the price. That might, you know, make buyers annoyed if they were already watching it. Or you could take it down the listing, put it back up a few days later for mm -hmm. more. 
or you could just know for the next time, you know, like a pair of Sorel boots. I sell them all the time. So I might list it too low one time. The next time I know, I'll list it a little higher. Right. And so. this is all just a skill that you kind of develop over time. It's like a muscle. The more yeah. you do it, the more better. The more yeah, I try not you to get look at up it. too much comps anymore. I mean, I do occasionally, but yeah. When I list a pair of Sorel boots, I list it at twenty nine ninety five plus shipping at this point. So. Yeah, and it's always changing too. Something yeah. that's doing good six months ago could be different today. So, just it's yep. <laughs> an ever growing process. Yeah, trust yourself, right? Like, <laughs> right. I think that's the most important part. So, thank you so much, Lena. And then Diana bought us two copies. Said just found your channel when someone commented on another YouTube video. Um, she believes the homeschooling pickers video. Awesome. Uh, about your storage system. I love your content and your spreadsheet has been amazing. And she's used several. Thanks so much. Thank you, Diana. Awesome, Diana. So thank cool. you so much. People find us from other channels. Yeah. Um, yeah, I found a lot of channels I watch just by reading comments on other channels and just hearing other people mention people. So. For sure. Awesome. Thank you so much. And yeah. Kayla's got a great channel over there. Kayla's <laughs> channel. Uh, if you didn't watch our last video and you're just heading over to this video, it's part two of our kind of vacation what sold. So yeah. the first video was our all of our eBay sales for the week. And then this is kind of a mixture of Posh, Mercari, Facebook, and Kittizen sales. Everything so. else, yeah. So if you haven't seen it, go check that one out right after this one. Yeah. Um, but one of the items I sold were these Nike Cortez sneakers. Um, I did pay up for these at $16.99, but I thought I could get at least $50. I actually listed them at $89, and they sold for $89 on Posh. So nice. very, very happy with yeah. that. Yeah. And since we have so many today, we won't be like showing you what we're shipping each thing in, but you can always tune in yeah. on normal what's sold, and we will. Yeah, and that kind of goes back to what we were talking about with not doing the 15 a day. That's going to free us up to do different types of videos. Yeah. And, you know, people always ask, like, how do you do shipping? So we're going to try to get more into those, like, how to do this kind of thing, right? Yeah. The how to do shipping on eBay, how to do shipping on Poshmark, because we do get those questions a lot. You know, we do sh typically show you what we're shipping it in, but we don't really show you why we came to that conclusion yeah. for the most part. So we're going to have in the future, we're going to have those kinds of videos and we'll, you know, you'll be able to reference that when we do that stuff. Yeah. And again, that requires us being <laughs> more flexible. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. So. All right. Uh, this pair of Converse I sold on Poshmark for 27 with discount shipping. I had $5.99 into those ones. So are these in order as far as the platform? I don't think so. so these are probably all mixed just up. Just hodgepodged together yeah. of the... So we'll try to mention where they sold. Yeah. These are a pair of Mephisto sneakers. I bought these for $8.50, sold them for $40 on Posh. That was an offer someone sent me. I accepted. Box CE. These are a pair of Olakai, like a mesh kind of, they're called a trainer. Uh, I've never sold that model before, but I bought them for $9.99 and I accepted a $30 offer. Olakai can usually get closer to $40, but $30 was fine with me, so I accepted. All right, box of DN. Way up high. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. That was one of our suggestions of putting boxes up at the, to the very top, which, you know, here there's not really any room, as you can kind of see from this angle. But yeah. uh, they're just too high for, for Kathy. Men, short <laughs> legs. Um, I'm not that sure. I'm like normal. I mean, five, three, five, four. That's pretty normal. Five, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm just <laughs> too short that. for those boxes. That's yeah. all that really matters, right? <laughs> Uh, these are the Clark's leather flip flops I got at the bins recently for a dollar eighty four. Sold them for twenty five on Posh. All right, this is a viewer sale. All right, sorry, the kids are home. We do still have spring break this week, and they just kind of interrupted, but <laughs> we'll get right back into it. <laughs> so this one's going out to our viewer Chelsea. She bought two items. CB to over here. All right, 
right, so Chelsea got a pair of Hoka sneakers and a Talbot sweater from our recent Ben's haul. Uh, she offered 88 I was happy to accept. I had $1.84 into the Talbots, $12.99 into the Hoka. So awesome. thank you so much, Chelsea. She also let me know that I forgot to delist the Build-A-Bear outfit, so I was <laughs> able to get that down on all the platforms. So Sweet. Thank Chelsea, you. thank you so much for the assistance yes. <laughs> and the support. We do appreciate that So if you ever, much. if anyone we've mentioned before, see something that you know we sold and know what's sold and tells me. I, yeah, don't be afraid. Like, I'm we're, very happy. We're thank very you. grateful when you do. Yeah. Obviously, we're not telling you to go out and no, check our work right like we try our best but i miss them <laughs> yeah more often these days and uh, i need to get better about that all right um i'm just gonna grab i know i sold a few here we mentioned the last video so yeah let's see do you know i don't know how you memorize this stuff not what i sold okay <laughs> i don't know how you do Kathy will ask me something from like 10 minutes later. I'm like, where did you put that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, I need to write it down right away, otherwise, I will forget. These. I think that's it. All right. Time so, will tell. <laughs> the first one are these gar Garmont? Garmont? Garment? Garmont? garment i don't know i don't know don't know <laughs> like a nice pair of hiking sneakers i did pay 18.99 for these at goodwill but i knew i could get i felt like i could get at least 60. i ended up getting why am i holding the wrong label i ended up getting 80 dollars on posh for them wow so. very nice yeah, very very happy those do look like a nice pair of shoes yeah so probably in the same line of just any yeah i mean i feel like they're a little like nicer than even a merrill higher thing, yeah so. i was gonna say higher than a merrill yeah yeah i'm trying to think sold of well i've sold them a, at least one or two other times and they sold for a good amount so i was okay paying up for those these will get to when i find the labels <laughs> all right uh, levi's This is a pair of Levi's white denim shorts I got at the bins a while back for $1.37. Sold these for $18. Someone offered I accept it. Nice. Yeah. All right. We got a four item bundle. So we're going to pull them off for some D. Um, a, B. Wait. Don't you step on the Reese Bear. And D N. Um, Gotta go way up again. Usually means it's a pair of shoes, though. <laughs> like we put a bunch of shoes in those higher boxes. Oh, the smallest yeah. shoes. <laughs> So this was kind of a low offer, but I still accepted because I otherwise probably would have lost money on a couple other pieces. And here I'm actually making like an $11 profit overall. Mm. So uh, these are a pair of Matilda Jane boys swim chunks. I bought these for my son. They just didn't fit him, so I relisted them, but I had paid $14 for those. These I also bought for my son, but I bought them from Goodwill. I think I paid $3.99 or $4.99. Um, they didn't fit him, so I listed them. So just those two that were personal items, I had probably 18 to 20 dollars into. Uh, this is a pair of Lululemon leggings. They're like crops though, so they're not really selling that well right now. These also sat in my death pile forever, but I got them at Goodwill for 3.99, so I pretty much would have accepted any offer at that point to get those gone. And yeah. then these are the Under Armour slides from the recent bins haul. It's only have a dollar 84 into those. Uh, originally, this buyer. Uh, bundled five items, offered 50, and I accepted. And then I was like, oh no. Well, the last, the fifth item was a pair of Zara shorts. Mm -hmm. I sold like back in February because then I checked my spreadsheet. Um, so I had to cancel her order because Posh doesn't have an easy way to cancel one give, item. Like, yeah, partial refund or something. So canceled the order, messaged her, apologized, and said, if you still want the other four, I'll put them back in a bundle. You can offer 45. Basically, the Zara shorts, I would have thrown them for free, so I didn't really want to 
say ten dollars off you know ten dollars per item right because those were probably like the lowest item that i would have you know what i mean i think so anyways <laughs> so i said 45 so she's like okay and then she offers 45 so happy to accept awesome. that and yeah so not losing money making about 11 dollars off of this stuff whereas honestly i could have made an 11 dollar profit just on these or just yeah. on these yeah i probably would have lost money on the matilda jane swim chunks had i sold those by themselves though so it yeah. all works out in the end yeah so yeah and you you know you didn't leave a angry customer right you gave yeah. a little bit of a deal made her happy <laughs> so yeah i mean it was a great deal overall because yeah. honestly 45 dollars for a pair of lululemon matilda jane under yeah. our slides like that's a really great very good name brand too, stuff so. yeah and it's posh so the shipping was cheap i'll be able to put it all in one box so easy for me i'd rather do that than send four things separately on ebay and right check them all in a spreadsheet and stuff so um uh, my shirt Right, so Marmot and Garmot. Facebook for right now, anyways. Probably be having more posh sales at some point. But yeah, I mentioned in the last video, we turned off Facebook for the whole week until Saturday, turned it back on, and got a bunch of sales pretty much right away. Yeah. Um, I did turn on an 18% off sale as well as when I turned it back on. So I don't know if that helped or just being off in the back on helped, but. Right. Yeah, uh, give it a shot if you have been having slow Facebook sales. Tur turn it on vacation mode, turn it back on, maybe run a sale. You can even do like, you could do 2% if you want, 1%. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, it definitely but, seemed to put it up in the algorithm. Yeah. Put it more in, fr in so, front of people's faces, so. Anyhow, going to be probably doing that more often, but this is a Marmot button down. I bought for two fifty, dollars sold for thirteen twelve plus shipping. Um, box AT, another... Facebook sale. Pair of Sunita clogs. I paid $7.99, sold for $28.70 plus shipping. Uh, box T. This was a viewer sale on Poshmark going out to Emily. She bought this Columbia PFG shirt. Um, $20 with discount shipping, so she accepted the Posher VA offer. So that was nice. Pasha VA was still sharing our closet and everything while we were gone, sending offers. Yeah. We were still making sales, so that was really nice, being hands-off. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been using Pasha VA for months now, but it's right. our first, like, I think vacation or getaway since we've been using it. For sure, so. yeah. Yeah, so thank you so much, Emily. Hope you love that. Awesome. Emily, thank you so much for that support. All right. BR, another Facebook sale. Well, that little girl Roxy shirt. I got this retail arbitrage for $3.50. Sold this one for $10.66 plus ship. This is the second or third to sell I have. I don't remember exactly, maybe eight of these. So they'll all slowly sell off. That's not a huge profit, but it was one listing for multi quantity. So, you know, even if it's eight times six, that's still $48 <laughs> profit in one listing, pretty much. So, yeah. Not bad. Coming to Z. Big item to get out. Uh, yeah. Pair of Carhartt jeans. I paid $7.99 for these. Sold them for $20.50 plus shipping on Facebook. Okay, right, box I. I'm actually really glad these sold. We bought these last spring break in Omaha. <laughs> it's so weird. These are a pair of born sandals, and they're a really cute style, actually. And they're in really great shape. I don't know. I've sold many Borns since then. Right, just right. Just not these. So these actually sold on Facebook for $20.50 plus shipping as well. I did pay $6.99 for them in Omaha. I had these in my eBay 50% off sale, so if they would have sold there, they would have. I would have got less money. So I'm, I'm glad yeah. they sold. I'm still making like $10 or $11 profit. Facebook saved the day a little bit on that one. Yeah. <laughs> so CM... Yeah, and if you guys do happen to do that Facebook go on vacation, take it off to a sale, let us know what your results are. Because, I mean, I think we're going to try it a little bit more often. See, you know, because we've only done it the one time. Obviously, we haven't had time to ch test it out any further. But, yeah, um, yeah it definitely seemed. 
I mentioned in the first part of this video that I at least I need to go through my Facebook all the way around. Yeah. So I want to probably put it on vacation mode again this week just to go through it because I had to cancel a couple orders from over the weekend. Which, yeah, Facebook will only let you cancel so many. Yeah, I think you can cancel like 10% of what you sold or, we don't, or yeah. shut you down for a little bit. So I don't want that to happen, even though it's not my best platform or anything. Right. So I'm going to go through it and then hopefully have it back up by next weekend and do another sale. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, this also sold on Facebook. Another pair of Sunita. These ones sold for $32.80 plus shipping, and I paid $12.99 for those ones. All right, AE, this was a sale on Mercari. I will mention with the Mercari vacation mode, I was kind of freaking out because it gave a, like a push notification, oh, your listings are active again when I turned <laughs> it on. So I like, go oh, look. And they weren't. No, they weren't. <laughs> so I was like, uh-oh. I hope I didn't just like screw myself over. Right. You know, my listings are gone forever, but it, they slowly came back. So don't freak out if you do that, <laughs> I guess. Just give right. it some time. And the nice thing with using List Perfectly is yeah. all that stuff is stored on List Perfectly. It actually wouldn't be the end of the world to. Yeah, I've thought this whole <laughs> week. I was like, I was just kind of getting sick. Like norm in a normal work day, I can easily delist stuff, but when we're out and about, that's when it gets tricky. Yeah. So I was like, man, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to just kind of restart Mercari and Facebook. Yeah, delist, delist everything. Re <laughs> and then re I was like trying to calculate. Okay, I know I can do a listing in twenty to thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> How long would it take me to list all 1,200 items? And right. I think I figured it would be five to six hours, which isn't bad. <laughs> yeah. Like I could relist my whole closet, which I probably wouldn't also want to do them all in a day because I'd want to give more traffic. Right, right. Different days. So schedule it out or time it out. Something to think about. I might, I know, I'd make all these things <laughs> in my head and I'll do them, but yeah. you could do that if you wanted to. Right. You know, anytime. So. But that is the nice thing about yeah. List Perfectly is it stores all your photos yeah. and all the information. So, I mean, you might have to retype some titles and stuff like yeah, that. But I mean, not really titles. Depends I mean, on what, how much. Click a few buttons, but when you're in a rhythm, it's just so fast. Right. So, yeah, I might do it <laughs> sometime. <laughs> uh, I did sell this Quicksilver rash guard though. So this I bought on Posh. I was buying myself a pair of leggings. So they only wanted six dollars for the leggings, but on Posh you already have to pay the shipping fee. Um, so the leggings would have then been close to $15 probably with all the shipping taxes, maybe like $16. So I bundled this with it. They had a 10% off bundle discount. This was also priced at six. So getting, maybe it was a 15% off bundle discount. My whole order was like $17 and change for my leggings and for this. So I figured I'll sell this, hopefully basically break even on the whole transaction, get a free pair of leggings. So I almost did that. Um, I sold this for $18 on Mercari. So after their fee, I make like 15 something back. So I got my leggings for two bucks. Whereas if hey. I just bought the leggings, I would have been out like 16 bucks, right? I mean, that's pretty yeah. good. So, yeah. that's pretty <laughs> so not a whole lot of profit going on here. Really no profit, but right. that's kind of how I looked at that transaction. I saved myself $12. That's kind of a little <laughs> look into how Kathy got started into reselling, doing that with our kids' clothes and stuff. So. So. Justifying buying, you know, higher dollar kids items by, oh, I could resell it or I could sell this and make, you know, this cost less. And then everything turned into what it is now. <laughs> so <laughs> one thing led to another. So if you're ever looking at somebody wondering, like, how do they buy their kids that many clothes or that <laughs> expensive thing? Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're reselling it. <laughs> <laughs> could think the same about houses right like there's some people yeah. I'm like man they're like 25 how do they got that nice million dollar house i mean before you were reselling i was thinking about it with my woodworking tools I was like just trading up basically yeah like i could buy this it's not like okay this is a two thousand dollar tool but if i ever need to get out i can get you know eighteen hundred dollars back so i'm really only losing two <laughs> yeah. just justifying buying expensive yeah. tools <laughs> so yeah. Just don't fall into the trap of being a hoarder, <laughs> right? <laughs> just don't go spend all your money on stuff just thinking you could. Yeah. It is kind of bad with clothes because our kids could ruin them, you know, and then I'm out at yeah. all. But yeah. I'm a little 
better about it these days. Not buying as much, and also when you guys join with our code. I honestly, so many of you guys have joined with our code. I don't think I've spent much out of pocket on stuff I bought on kids in the last year or so. So thank you for everyone yeah. who's done that. Which you're clothing our kids. <laughs> in turn, means you're buying less because I'm you're waiting. Less, yeah. yeah, and then I'm also, when they do outgrow it, or if they ruin it, I don't feel bad. But if I can sell it, I do get <laughs> cash back eventually. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you oh. so much. <laughs> For all the support from yeah. everyone. Um, so this is going out to Viviana, our viewer. Awesome. She bought two pairs of champion sweatpants. One is a reverse weave and one is just a typical champion. Sweet. Um, I got these retail arbitrage. The reverse weave I paid 15. The others I paid 10. Viviana offers 75. I was happy to accept. So thank you so much. Awesome. Viviana, huge, huge supporter of the channel. <laughs> we thank you so much for yeah. all the amazing support. Thank you. All right, found this label for these Tord shoes. You know, Tord used to, I mean, Tord clothes was on my list, but Tord shoes, they're always like faux leather. You know, they're not super high quality or anything, so I never really kind of looked at them. Mm -hmm. But I was watching Kaylee Elaine. They found like a bunch. I don't know her friend or, or her employee. Yeah. Her employee or their like coworkers or I don't know their exact situation. <laughs> but anyways, they had came across a ton of like tour shoes in one location. They bought them all and they all sold them for like I want to say fifty plus. And mm -hmm. so I've been looking more at them now when I see them and I found this pair for ten ninety nine, which I was like, man, ten ninety nine. They're faux leather, you know. Yeah. They're really worth it, but they were. Um, I think I listed these at 50, got a $40 off. I might have listed them at 59. They're a size 12, and all torch shoes are wide width, so hmm. that's a good plus about them. So, yeah, I bought them and got a $40 offer and accepted, so. Nice. Yeah. Those look um, cool. And then I sold that other Mary Jane pair on eBay last week for, I think, 30-something plus shipped. Those were in worse condition. These are, like, brand new, practically. That's so. awesome. Yeah, look at torch shoes if you see them. I'm not saying all are good, but worth looking at for sure. Yeah. And I think the bigger the size is going to be, the better. And thanks to Kaylee yeah. Elaine and her team for the, uh, the inspiration, income. right? Like, it's awesome. I Helping us make money. I stuff every day too, guys. Yeah. This is my one kid is in sale. Um, these are a pair of kids' sock and shoes I bought for $4.99. Sold them for $29 free shipping, and the shipping cost $5.15. So, still making about a $15 profit there. Still can't quit my kid is in. <laughs> I'll always be a shopper on there, at least all the kids are fairly young. So. Yeah. I also just love that, like, the money whenever you buy something is going to that person, and then they can, you know, buy their kid stuff too. I heard a weird noise from over there. It sounds like a box is falling. I know. Like, I was, like, looking for something to fall, and I distracted Kathy. That's why she looked. But. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, I sold these very, they're like a low-top duck boot for $32.80 plus shipping. I paid $11.99 for these. Sweet. Yeah, finally moving some shoes. Great. Another pair. Where you at? Where you at? I know I didn't sell you yet. All right, these look like a Jungle Mock Camaro, but they're actually Helly Hansen brand, which I've never sold their shoes before, so this is my first time. It took kind of a while, but they sold for 41 plus shipping on Facebook. I did pay $15 for these, though, because they're new without box. They have the tag attached, so I don't know that I'd pick them up for that price again just because of how long they took to sell, but I would pick them up again. A.O. some Skechers. Got the Reese Bears again. <laughs> My baby. I feel like Reese's getting so much better sleep. Yeah. Not being on alert. <laughs> Stretch! <laughs> uh, I sold these Skechers flats for $27 with discount shipping on Posh. I had $7.99 into those ones. All right, CJ, all over the place today. <laughs> Thank you for you. All right, these are going out to our viewer, KC. Um, she offered 35 for this pair of Nike shoes. I was happy to accept. I had $5 into those. So thank you awesome. so much, Casey. Casey, thank you so much for that support. Yeah, thanks for being patient. Um, I think she offered the first day we were gone. I didn't uh, know she was a viewer at first, so I, you know, said we're going to 
I'm happy to accept, but we can't ship till next Monday. And she's like, oh, I'm a viewer. I kind of expected, so. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for being patient. Yeah, thanks. BS. Oh, there was one in there. Oh, in the box. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, this is a vintage Territoria head shirt. I paid five seventy seven. Sold it for twenty dollars fifty cents plus shipping on Facebook. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cr. Of Albert. These are actually my personal shoes, but I had bought them off eBay. I did wear them several times. I think I paid all in with shipping like $32. And then I ended up selling them on Posh for $35 with discount shipping. So I'm losing five, ten bucks, and I did get some good wear out of them. So happy with that. I still love all birds, but my favorite are the slide-on ones with no laces. Yeah. You're talking for personal use, yeah. right? They're one of my favorite shoes to wear. <laughs> so this was probably the best sale for the weekend or for the week. Yeah, for sure. This is a Disney Lounge Fly backpack. Marvel. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. <laughs> so uh, I saw this listed on Kitizen for 25 bucks, and I thought it was uh, Wonder Woman. Right. <laughs> so I don't know all this <laughs> stuff. So I quickly looked up comps on eBay searching Wonder Woman. I wasn't finding much because it's not Wonder Woman. Um, <laughs> but anyways, it was 25 bucks. It was Lounge Fly. And I was like, there's no way I will lose money. So I just took a chance. When I got it, I did a Google Lens or something and realized it was actually Captain Marvel. And I <laughs> double checked with Chris and he said, yeah. So yeah, I got a text. When I Is actually it? looked at that up, I figured out the comps were really, really good. Nice. Um, I want to say I saw one sell at like 150. So I think I listed mine pretty high. Anyways, so sent out offers and got 125 with discount shipping. So nice. Uh, yeah, I think I'm profiting like 70 bucks or something off something that got shipped to me here. Sweet. So really, really happy with that. Yeah, so definitely Bolo Lounge Fly stuff. I've sold a few others. I think that's the highest price one I've sold. I'll just show you so, that. Yeah. So it obviously has the Marvel on it. They're not always Marvel, but Lounge Fly yeah. is something um, to look out for. It's just crazy. They go for that so much. Like they're faux leather and everything. Like they're not even genuine they're leather. They're nice, huh? but <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. Wonder who the famous person was that made them popular. <laughs> You're always saying stuff like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, B M Polo jeans. All right, Polo Ralph Lauren. Just regular jeans. I paid $7.99, sold for $35 with discount shipping. All right. and these were the last ones from that shoe shop. These are some Sims, like a fly fishing boot. Right, with the felt bottoms. Yeah, you can see the price they wrote on, so I just covered it up. But yeah, um, I paid up for these at a thrift, uh, a local thrift. I want to say they priced them at like 50 something dollars. I didn't pay that much. So they priced them, I think, at 55 Then I got, they were half off the day I bought them, and then it's the store where we get those $5 coupons, and mm. I had, well, I think I had two of them, but I only counted five towards these. So anyways, what I had down for my cost of goods was $22.50. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, they might have been, even been priced at like 60 bucks. Anyways, <laughs> they were priced at a lot, um, but I ended up selling them for 70 with discount shipping. So I think I about doubled my money on them. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, Sims, I felt comfortable. Like, it's a good enough brand that I wasn't going to be too worried. They did sell fast, under right. 30 days. So, So yeah, if you see the felt bottom shoes yeah, with it being Sims. Oh, that's a Keen also. Yeah, I did notice that, too. Interesting. Oh, so it's a Keen. A Keen so... Sims. Not weird. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was weird, too. But... But, saw some others like it. Yeah, the felt typically means for fly fishing, that just gives it grip when you're wading in the water. Or... Yeah, because when you're fly fishing, you typically typically wade out in the water, and the felt just gives you kind of grip on the slippery rocks. I will never be fly fishing, but <laughs> good to know. All right. Sold a pair of these girls' Adidas shorts. I got these retail arbitrage for $2.50. Sold this pair for 20 with discount shipping on Posh. 
it. And lastly, a Z. Oh my god, when we see the sleep, he's so cute. <laughs> Cute when he's awake too. That's true. <laughs> Just want to give him a kiss on his cheek. Uh, this is a mini Bowden, like woolly mammoth applique shirt. I accepted a twelve dollar offer. Normally I can get twenty to twenty five, including shipping for these. And on Posh, you know they are. She's over twenty dollars now with shipping and tax. So right. I thought it was fair. I only had eighty six cents into the shirt, so I'm still making like an eight dollar something profit. So I accepted, um, but yeah, I could have held off, but why? So I accepted. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why wait for money, right? <laughs> So, right. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying that as a in being <laughs> if it facetious. Was worth Fifty. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I've accepted twelve. I'm minutes. saying take the money when you get the money. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's a ton of stuff we got to get packed up. In addition to the stuff we've already packed up from last video, so we're gonna get packing. Take the next few minutes, and then we'll check back in, and we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. Huge. We did it. Huge stack going on. We're beat. And I printed the labels last night when we got back because yeah. that would have made today even longer. Yeah. So. It didn't take too long to pack up, but we're just. Yeah, it, it took probably longer to pack up. We're hungry. Yeah. We didn't eat lunch yet. We've been up here since about 12 o'clock. It's going on 3 o'clock. So to record the two videos, to get everything packed up, a couple hours, a few hours. And yeah, <laughs> we're ready to eat, right? <laughs> Boys are ready to eat. Super late lunch, although we kind of woke up a little bit later and yeah. had a late breakfast. So, but yeah, that is everything that's going out. What do you think? Should we go? Uh, should we move to like one day a week shipping? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think, Reese? He doesn't care. That was a chair. Just that was. Just say no. <laughs> Quit tooting over there. <laughs> it's getting hot too, so kind of sweaty. But yeah, we're going to get this stuff off to the post office, and I think we have a few going to UPS. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video and yesterday's video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support while we were on vacation. We do appreciate that. And yeah, this week, I think we're going to have a little bit of a recovery <laughs> from vacation, a vacation from our vacation, I guess. I don't know. But we might uh, not have every day this week a video. As you can tell, Kathy's voice, <laughs> it seems like it's on its way out. So we're going to see. We're going to pump her full of tea, <laughs> get her voice nice and soothed over the next few days, and we'll see where we're at. We'll but still have our live on Thursday. Yeah, we'll be live Thursday. And fun one right well no. oh yeah <laughs> that's right so. this thursday thursday the 20 no the worst if i have no voice then right <laughs> thursday the 31st we will be reacting to our very first youtube video we're gonna do it live thursday night at 8 p.m colorado or mountain time so you're not gonna want to miss that one Guys, thanks again for watching and thanks for all the amazing support. And we're going to call it here and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.